Good evening, everybody. Welcome to 2024 Brooklyn College Bulldog Volleyball here at the West Quad Gymnasium. It's senior night here, and this contest between your Brooklyn College Bulldogs and the Mega Evers Cougars. And Jonathan here with me, Jonathan Pariente, my buddy, my partner here. Uh, this is a trap game, kind of, because... Mega Evans comes in 0-12, 0-11 in the conference. But right now, we're going to go to the floor because it's senior night. We have number 16, Tommy Min, and number 14, Armand Kaloshi. And the head coach, Joel Azuma, is taking the mic. Yeah. It's really yeah, amazing. they got to turn it on. <laughs> it's a really amazing thing, Pat, when you see these uh, players. And you know, they, they work so hard for these four years to finally – you know, play here. They they really enjoy what they do. They they really take. They really enjoy their craft. And they enjoy what they bring to their team, and it's just so great to see these men really have come a long way from really where they did the start of the season. Yeah, and both these players who are seniors, they were transfers who came from other schools. Uh, Tommy came from Hunter. He did not play volleyball at Hunter. Wow. But he came here and he played volleyball. Koloshi came from. Um, Oh my gosh, it slipped my mind. James Blanken. He was in he was within CUNY? Yes, he was within CUNY and he came here. He did play at another school, so I don't have his stats from another school. But mm. for the two years here, Tommy Min has a collective 281 kills, wow. 249 digs, and 56 service aces. And Kaloshi in his two years, he has 202 kills, 84 digs, and 15 service aces. You just gotta love what these two have brought. Yeah, Min yeah, Min can take over a game, you give him the open space. And we've seen Koloshi, when you give him the time and space, he can knock down a quick kill for you oh, yeah. in critical moments. And we have seen that throughout the season. And now here the men are uh, really, in a way, they kind of control their own destiny to hosting a playoff game possibly this year. Which is yes, a, they do. Right now the men are within the fourth spot right now, which would give them a They're chance to host a game. They're tied with Lehman right now. For that number five and six. They split uh, both the matches. Lehman won at Lehman. We won here. Yep. So, um they have two more matches after this, and if Brooklyn College wins more than Lehman, mm. Brooklyn College will get the four seed and host the quarterfinal. If they both tie, then it goes mm. to tiebreakers, and we have to talk to Coach Azuma yeah. as to how that right. breakdown of the tiebreaker goes. Well, the men will be traveling to your college coming up for that as one of their two remaining games, yes. and then they'll finish right here at home against Hunter, and that will be a very... Uh, that's a very big game. You know, yes. I know it may not mean much to Hunter, but it will mean a lot to Brooklyn. Hunter's a team that men have been trying to – really, a lot of teams try to knock off yeah. Hunter off the mountain, and that's not easy to do. They're one yep. of the top teams in all of CUNY and volleyball. And, and there's Tommy mm. Min talk, mm. being talked about by Coach Azuma. And Tommy's been a leader in this team for both years. Last year, he led the team in kills. Now, Aaron Sue, the freshman phenom that's coming in, he had no problem. But, hey, listen, we got another scorer. Hey, if we got to follow him the ball, follow him the ball, I'll do what I need to do. And con it's congratulations to him for the type of player he is and for what he's brought to this team. Well, the men have a lot of good pieces for the next couple of years. You, we've already seen what Jayanne Flanders is capable of doing. He just has an incredible energy that he brings to the team. Uh, then you look at guys like Alvar, Alvaro Gonzalez, the young, the young freshman out of Spain. He's Who was a, named captain this year. So he's going to bring. So he's really going to take over that as a captain next season for almost certain. And then you're going to have all the other players coming around him. You'll have Lima coming back for another season. He's been a key at setting up plays. Hopefully they'll get the other freshman, Jason Lynn, who's out with the Achilles injury, but hopefully it'll get him back next year. Mm. He's good in the middle. He's another mm. offensive weapon for this team. So we're mm. looking for bigger and better things, yeah. not just for this season, but going into next season as well. Well, the great thing is the men have so many young kids here that are going to be a part of this for the next couple of years, so they can really build around that. And it'll be very interesting to see what they will put together for the next couple of years and build around the pieces they already have. I think it's getting – the men, I think, are very close. Yeah. They're, they're, Coach they're Azuma's really kind of said it. I think. Yeah. So Azuma's hinted maybe not this year, but maybe next year, maybe down the road, this team could really uh, have a chance to yeah. be playing at a competitive level uh, even further into the playoffs next yeah. year. and Coach Azuma, when we talked to him before, this, before the uh, game, he said, listen, well, I'm not where I want to be. We're on the way. There's some more recruiting I need to do. I want to get – players who can think on the court and adjust without mm -hmm. me having to adjust them. Well, again, it always uh, I always say this, it takes time. You know, you cannot just build, you don't just build a winning formula in your first year. It doesn't always happen like that. It, sometimes it does. But, you know, let's look at it this way. We had a
we had a certain somebody here that built that it took six years yep till our till a program here known as our women's basketball team became really good and that was that was when coach alex lang was here he, it took six years till he finally built a winning culture here so i'm not saying it will take that long maybe it'll take less it seems like by the way the trajectory of the men are going, I think it will take less. Yeah, I think so because Coach Zuma, with the type of plays he's brought in this year and for the type of plays he's looking forward to bring in next year, I think he has the format to lay the foundation to build this program to where it's like a Hunter or like a Baruch. Slowly but surely. And you know what? In a way, the women's team are not too far from accomplishing that feat oh. also. We've seen what Coach Agress did earlier on but earlier on in, in the fall. So we'll see the women, of course, back here playing volleyball later in the year around September, October. Yep. The women will be back here on the court as well. And Coach Agress also, uh, like Azuma, shares a very similar mindset to how he wants his team to play and how the opponents he wants them to play. Yep. Very aggressive, conscious, with a lot of energy, and with a mindset to put the ball away when you get the opportunity. So Mega Everest comes in 0-12. They're 0-11 in the conference. They just lost to Lehman 3-1, 14-25, 6-25, 25-22, and then 10-25. And the head coach, Eric Archer, he's looking to earn their first win of the season and to continue to be competitive. The players to watch is outside hitter number six, Cody Ramsey, with 132 kills and 11 service aces and 87 digs. And... The freshman setter, number 16, Patrick Mateo, with 115 assists and 51 digs. This team really has some good things around them. It just, again, it takes time. Oh, well, we're going to stop for the playing of the National Anthem. And a very beautiful rendition of our national anthem here at the West Quad. And we're about to begin with the Brooklyn College Bulldogs against the men's Medgar Evers Cougars. And let's go through the starting lineups. We'll begin first with the Medgar Cougars. And the six players I'm about to mention are the only six players Medgar Evers has here playing tonight. So let's go through them. Cody Ramsey, the 5'11 outside hitter from Grenada, Wisconsin, went to Samuel J. Tilden High School in New York. He'll wear number six, and he will play in zone two. Number 11, Luis Cayola, the six-foot sophomore right setter hitter from Wingate High School from Brooklyn, New York. He'll wear number 11. He'll play zone five. Isaac Akindipe, the 6'2 sophomore mid from Benjamin Banneker High School from Brooklyn, New York. He'll wear 13 and play the one. Patrick Mateo, the 5'6 freshman setter from Newcomers High School from the Philippines. He'll wear number 16 and play zone three. Kayshawn Higgs, the 5'6 left setter and hitter from high school for Enterprise, Brooklyn, New York. He'll wear number 18 and play the six. And finally, Kadeem Hagley, the 6'3 freshman out of Abraham Lincoln High School. He'll wear number 20. He'll be a mid, and he will play zone four. And for your Brooklyn College Bulldogs, in zone number one, it's the senior Number 16, Tommy Men out of Syverson High School in Brooklyn. In zone number two, it's the 6'3 junior from Kazakhstan. It's number two, Aziz Abdusimiev. In zone three, it is the setter, sophomore, 5'8 from Richwood, New York, David Lima. In zone number four, it is the seven-time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-time freshman player of the week, number one, Aaron Sue from Brooklyn Tech High School in Brooklyn. In zone number five, it is wearing number 22 today. He is from Phillipsburg, St. Martin, number 22, Gian Flanders. 
end zone number six. It is the other senior, number 14, outside hitter, 6'4", from Fort Hamilton, Staten Island, Armand Kaloshi. And the libero is number seven, outside hitter, 5'6", from Seattle, Lehman, Ali Zandani. Head coach, Joel Azuma. Now for the Medgar Cougars tonight, we mentioned the six players. They will not be playing a libero tonight. So this is interesting. You wonder, if does this favor Brooklyn a little bit, knowing your opponent is not using a libero today? Um... I don't know because we'd have to see how they are effective in setting the ball for their hitters. Maybe mm. they have a libero on the team that's just not playing a libero because they only have six players. Mm. It's a possibility. Yeah. Uh, oh. We don't know who won the toss and who's going to serve first. And who we are here. the officials for that's tonight? Right. We got Leo Zhang as referee one. So he will be up in the, in the chair. And on the floor will be Sam Torres. He'll be referee number two. Uh, we have seen both of these two referee games in the past, so these uh, gentlemen are very, you know, very fair. We'll call it right down the middle, no problem. So this will be, uh, this should be a very good matchup, and I think for, but again for the men, do not take Medgar Evers light. That's going to be the big thing. This is an 0 12 team. Medgar Evers, by the way, will be serving first. So yep, and look at this is. as a trap. Do not, you know, definitely want to look at this as a trap game if you're Brooklyn. Number 11. That's that Kyolo to serve. Kyolo over to Zandani. Liam sets it on the block. And it's off of Abdul Simeon's head, and it falls. So, Mega Evans take an early one nothing lead. That ball fell right into no man's land. Just nobody there to cover the, the ground, and Mega Evers got the first point. So, Kayola to serve. Taken there by Min. Set by Lima. Aaron Sue on the block and out. So, the first kill goes to Aaron Sue, and he puts a point on the board for. Brooklyn. Good start for the Bulldogs coming right back. And Abdul Simeyev to serve. Taken there. Over to Mateo. Tipped over. Flanders. And oh! David Lima went for the spike and just missed. So it's 2 1 Medgar Evers. Taken there by Colosi, goes over, Flanders right there, puts on, Bob, Zandani, they got to get it over, Tommy Min puts it over. Taken there by Mateo, puts it over, Sue, back to Mateo, dubbed out by Zandani, Sue puts it off the block, can he get to it? No, they can't, the second kill for Aaron Sue, we are tied at two. Well, Zandani had that huge dig to help set that play up, and that is very important. The cohesion on the court is definitely evident right now on the Brooklyn College side. So it is David Lima to serve. And it's an ace for David Lima. You know, Lima can be very deceptive with that serve. He has a good way of disguising the serve but he can give it a little zest if he needs to. He can get oh, it right yes, down the middle. He can. And Lima's ready. And oh, another ace. ace. That one had even more zip than the last serve. Oh, he put a little extra mustard on that one. Mm. There's always just a different way, Pat, when you realize how the ball comes off the server's hand. Because it looks like any serve going up in the air, but it depends how and where you hit that ball and what angle you're hitting it with your hand. Yes. That can really affect the trajectory of the ball. And they do a good job of changing the pace. Here's Lima again. Line drive. Dug serve. out there by Ramsey. And put, oh, no! Not, not enough by 18 Higgs. And Brooklyn College now goes up 5-2. to two. This is the opening set of the best of five between your Bulldogs and the Cougars. And... There, stop just making sure everything is all right. And we're ready to put the ball in play. Lima serving. And a long unfortunately, on that one. a service <laughs> error for Mr. Lima. Side out. 5-3. Mega's now serving. All right. Well, Lima had two very good aces on that previous on the previous two serves, which you can't complain. Patrick Mateo to serve for Mega Evers. Taken there by Sue. Over to Lima. Back to Sue. 
And mm. too far outside, he missed it. And it's 5-4, Medgar Evers. Well, I like what Sue did there. He was trying to go for that corner, which you need to do. And just, just missed the line a little yep. bit. Tails ready, serving from the near side, left part of the court. Taken there by Zondani. Lima gets it over to Koloshi, puts it over. Taken there by Biggs. Block and down. Point for Brooklyn. Yep, yep. no hand, no net violation. So Bull that's always sometimes a very dangerous thing when you get to that net. You have to be very wary that no part of your body touches the net. Yes. In any degree. And it's Aaron Sue to serve now for Brooklyn. Up 6-4. Boom, mm. hard butt into the net. Service error for Sue. And it's 6-5, side out. And now serving is Hagley. Serves over to Zandani. Over to Lima. Kaloshi, cross court. And off of 18, Higgs. And it's a kill for Kaloshi. It's 7-5, Brooklyn. And now here comes Tap Tap, Mr. <laughs> Gian Flanders. I always, I always love seeing that. I always love when he does that. There we go. There's the triple tap. Serve. Dug there. Tipped over by 13. Lima gets to it. And Sue puts it over. Taken there by Ramsey. Over to Mateo. And hit out wow. by number 11, Kyola. And it's now 8-5, Brooklyn. Jan Flanders back again to serve. Here he comes. And taken there by Ramsey. Over to Mateo. And Ramsey has to put it back over. Taken there by Lima. Over to Sue. Kaloshi puts it over. Block. Back to Sue. And into it's going to be into yeah, the went over double the hit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And Coach is Coach mad. Is he said, you gave them all six of their points. They haven't earned a point yet hmm. on a kill. Well, Coach Azuma will definitely not be afraid to mince words. Yep. But he doesn't see the up to their... Kaloshi out. Miss hit. And it's now 8-7. So right now, Brooklyn had, had a big lead. But now, because of unforced errors and hitting mm -hmm. errors, Mega Evers right back as number 11. Luis Cayolo to serve. Mm. And it's an oh, ace. Good serve. By Cayola. And we are tied at eight. Well, this is something you don't want to see if you're Brooklyn. You, you know Medgar's only playing six players. So you know they're not going to be subbing out anyone. Nope. And right now the Bulldogs are just not. You, you feel like them. their focus is kind of just off a little bit here. Yes. Serve up. Nope, it's a, a service error. error. That's a good break for Brooklyn. And they go up 9-8. Going back to serve is the senior, Armand Kaloshi. Taken there. Over to Mateo. Back to Ramsey. On Sue. Goes high. Off the ceiling. Back to Zandani. Tommy Min puts it back over. Taken there by Kyola. And double we have hit was called against, a double hit. Yep. Double hit against Medgar. Brooklyn will get the point. It's 10 to eight. 10 8. <laughs> and Kaloshi going back to serve again. Well, now it's Medgar that's now starting to commit errors. The well, this is what Brooklyn is supposed to do. They're supposed to Take force it. the issue. Yeah, but at the same time, they have to be able. Whoa, the, just clipped off the net. Can he get it over? They do. Nice dig. Zandani to Lima. Tommy Min puts there it away. Go. Strong kill by Min. Yeah, that was all set up thanks to that low serve that forced Medgar to have to dive for the ball, and they were too far back from the net. And when you get them off balance, they can't really get a good set. Yeah. And it's vanished to Brooklyn. You basically have a team on the defensive when you do that. Mateo bounces it over to Ramsey on the block, and it's taken there by Mateo. And it's going to be way out that hit by Cayola. Brooklyn College now takes a four-point lead, 12-8 in the opening set. Kaloshi on a roll, serving. Taken there by Ramsey, over to Mateo. Back to Ramsey, tips it over, and it's a kill for Ramsey. 
That was a good shot inside the line for Ramsey. So they stop the four-point barrage by Brooklyn, and they get a point. Side out. And now it is Hagley to serve. Taken there by Sue. Over to Lima. Tommy Mann. And it's a kill by Aziz Abdusimiyev. Talk about Johnny on the spot. So side out, 13-9, Brooklyn, Tommy Min to serve. And hold on, we're going to get the official, and he blows a whistle, put the ball in play. Tommy Min over to Kyola, over to Ramsey, on the block, and it stays on their side of the net. It rolled all the way down the net on Mega Ever's eyes and dropped down for the point for Brooklyn to block by Abusimia. Those are sometimes those little lucky caroms you get sometimes. Oh, and it's an ace yep. by Tommy Min. In between return there by Kyola. He just could not read that serve. 15-9, Brooklyn. Oh. oh, service error by Tommy Min. Stops the little run. And it's now 15-10 as 13, Isaac Akendipe to serve. That's the third service error we've seen from the Bulldogs already. Zendani to Lima. Sue! Woo! That's a missile by Aaron Sue, who came into the match with 283 kills. And you see why he's led all of Brooklyn in that number, as yes. well as right up there in Cuniac as well. Yep. Abdul Simiyev serving. And uh, another ooh, service ooh, ace. <laughs> I'm sorry, ball, Aaron. That ball, Karam hit Flanders in the face after yep. that, but he's all right. So that's four service errors for Brooklyn, keeping Mega Evans five points away. As it's going to be Corey Rams, Cody Ramsey to serve for the Cougars. As Abdul Simeon comes out. And it's an ace the line. Wow. by Ramsey. As Zandani came in for Abdul Simeon. So an ace by Ramsey. And now they're down by four, 16-12. Bulldogs stole the four-point lead. Taken in by Zandani. And tipped wow. over by Lima. Oh, what a great job by <laughs> David Lima. Just a little tip and got it over the net. I'm not sure if he even tipped that at all. It was just a good return by Zandani. And Medgar just did not read it. They didn't think it was going to come back the other yeah. way. And then got caught flat-footed. So David Lima serves. And it's an ace. I don't know why Kyola ducked. It was coming right to him. Well, maybe thought the ball was going to come out. Timeout has been called by Medgar Evers. Coach Archer will call time. Well, I'll tell you what. David Lima's had four service aces already in this match. Yes, indeed. And what you're saying with only the six players, this is why Coach Azuma was mad. He's saying you're giving them all their points. Make them make the errors. You don't make the errors. Put the pressure on them to be defensive-minded so we can stay offensive-minded. Well, over the last few points, we've started to see the service errors and mistakes now happening from Edgar Evers, and you're seeing why. Bulldogs making some good defensive plays, and Edgar not picking up where the ball is coming, and the Bulldogs are getting awarded three points as a result. But at yep. the same time, the men do have to clean up the service errors. That's still been a little problem. They are getting their aces in tonight, which has been very good. Men's not... Men knocked down a couple of kills. You've saw a couple of kills from Sue. The men just have to keep playing their game. That's how you beat Medgar Evers. Yep. Do not think about anything else. And you got to take it to them and not allow them to stay in this match. Absolutely. So right now they have a six-point lead, the largest lead of the first set, 18-12. Timeout is over, and David Lima will be back to serve. As hold on, as Tommy Min is late getting on the court, and he's there. And we are ready, David Lima to serve. And taken there by Ramsey. And he's the into yep. the net by number 11, Kyola. 19-12, Brooklyn. It's kind of interesting because the Bulldogs, when they – served one it tipped off the net but it came over and it was still considered in play yes here it looked a little that looked a little close if that was going already out of bounds maybe that was part of oh. it. another service error for lima second service error for him 1913 side out 
And now it's 16, Patrick Mateo to serve. He approaches from the left side of the court, puts it over, taken there by Tommy Mint. Over to Lima. Colosi to Ramsey. Ramsey's back to Mateo. Ramsey went up too fast, too early, and mistimed it. And he missed the hit. And now Brooklyn five points away from taking the opening set. You know, timing is so key when you're hitting the ball in volleyball. You, any second late that you react to that ball being up in the air could be the difference of it going over the net or into the net. Aaron Sue serves, taken there by Corey. And another Again. miss hit by 18 Higgs. And it's 21-13. Medgar just not quite. Another timeout's been called by Coach Archer. Medgar, as you see, is just not reading the ball when it's coming down. They're, they're reacting too late, and that's why the balls are getting hit into the net the last two, the last couple of uh, serves. And give credit to Brooklyn College. When, when, when I was playing football and we did our scouting report, we always looked for the chink in the defensive armor. Who is that player that we can exploit? Where's that area that we can take advantage of? And I think that's what Brooklyn College is doing. They're identifying the weak spot, and they're attacking that spot over and over again. And it seems to me like now they're going more after Higgs because he has not been picking up the ball when it's come down. And then you're seeing Medgar is being forced to hit bad shots that are not going to go over the net. Yep. Keep them off balance. That's what you yep. want to do. Yep. On the attack, put the pressure on them and have them jumping around trying to figure out what to do well the Bulldogs now have really begun to really pick up their play over the last couple of weeks men were coming off a couple of huge victories including a five-set thriller against City College and then of course the men had that five-set epic winner this past week against Lehman and that so you kind of look back at those two games for a minute and say to yourself if those are the games that turn the season for the men you look back at those games when did this team finally begin to really play at a consistent level. Most definitely as Aaron Sue is back to serve, up 21-13. And no. can they get it? Yes, they no. do. And 11, Kyola gets it over. Back to Lima, sets it up. Flanders on the block. Can they get to it? Sue puts it up, hits the ceiling, comes back. Tommy Min gets it over wow. to Ramsey. Back to Mateo. And put over by Kyola. Taken by Sue, back to Lima. Kaloshi to Ramsey. Ramsey digs it out. Back to Mateo. Ramsey back line to Zandani with the dig. Back to Lima. Flanders blocked. A double block by Hagley and Kyola. And they get the point side out 21-14. Can't fault Brooklyn for that one. I mean, it was a good rally. But this time Edgar was at the net ready to make that play. And Hagley to serve. Gets it over to Sue. Lima sets. Tommy Min on the block. Taken by Zandani. Back to Lima. Back set to Kaloshi. And into oh, the net was Medka Evers. Yeah, net violation. So that's going to be a point for Brooklyn, 22-14. Aziz Abdusimiyev comes in for Zandani. And going back to serve is tap, tap the chiseler, Mr. <laughs> Jihan Flanders. Well, see if the men can close out this set strong. It was a little back and forth, but the men have finally begun to kind of find spin, their rhythm spin here. To tap, tap. Puts it up. Serve. Taken there by oh, Levin Cayola. And Went it's an ace by Mr. Philanders. 23-14 Brooklyn. As I see one of the female volleyball players, Yuki. It's Yuki, yep. Coming to watch the men play. 23-14 men are leading. Two points from the first set. And Flanders is ready. Time. And it's an ace that in? to wow. the back corner. What a serve by Flanders. Yeah, it was funny. I don't think I saw Flanders tap. I think, he, yeah, I think he that's tapped. how he, if he did, it was a very quick one. Yeah, he got to that. <laughs> if you take your eyes away, you're going to miss it. And so set point for Brooklyn. And here is the tap. And, so. and oh, oh, miss hit that one. Service right. error. So Mega Ever saves one set point. Well, definitely had the right angle on that serve, did Flanders. The Bulldogs are going to make a sub. So Flanders comes out, and Ali Zandani comes in. And serving will be number 11. That is Kaiola. Set point for Brooklyn. Kaiola serves, taken there by Sue.
to Lima oh. and not going to be able to get it. Lima yeah. tried his best, but it's 24-16. They've saved two set points. Mega Evers has. Bulldogs still with, are still in control of their destiny here. Just need one point. And, and that's it, it. It's a service error to end the first set. Brooklyn College wins 25-16. As the teams change sides, we're going to the second set of this best of five here at the West Quad Gymnasium. You're listening to 2024 Brooklyn College Men's Volleyball Live on YouTube.com. I am Pat Brown along with my partner Jonathan Pariente and Jonathan, a very good first set for Brooklyn College. What do you think they need to do to continue this role? Just continue to stay within themselves. The men finally begun to find themselves after about 8-8 eight, eight in the first set. Then the men finally got into the rhythm and finally started playing up to the level that they're expected to play. If you keep doing that, you have Medgar Evers on their heels. That's how you have to play. You know they're playing only six players. So you have to be careful to keep exploiting that, keep going after... Uh, number 18, that was Higgs. You keep going after him. I think that seems to be the weak spot of Medgar Evers, yeah. as we've seen already in the early going. Hey, what, what, what do they say? If something is working, don't, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. Yeah. <laughs> we've seen now, we've seen Lima be very dominant on the serve today. We've seen him hit four aces in this match. And we're about to get the results from the first set. And then right now, the cohesion is what's so important. If you play with a good teammate, good cohesion, you're going to win these games. So let's take a look at the first set. What? And the men had a total of eight kills. Wow, would you believe Medgar Evers had one only one kill. kill? Yeah. Wow. That's why Coach Azuma was mad. He said, you're giving them all their points. Yeah. Men had five errors. Medgar had seven. But altogether, Brooklyn has six service aces to three. 64% were the men on side outs, 11 for 17. Medgar was 10 of 24, 41%. Yeah. On side out. So six reserve six re return errors for Mega Evans, so only three for Brooklyn. Four kills for Sue in the first set. And you had a total of three service aces for Lima and two for Flanders and one yep. for Tommy Men. Yes indeed. All right. So we just continue as Brooklyn College is on the other side of the court. And uh we got about a minute left. Yep. Jonathan, the, the softball team has another doubleheader tomorrow at 4 o'clock here, right behind the West Squad Gymnasium on the field, as they're going to take on the St. Joseph University of Brooklyn Bears. Mm, and Brooklyn College matchup. has suffered two straight doubleheader sweeps mm. at the hands of Rutgers Newark and at the hands of, oh, my goodness. They it was. They split, and they also split one, don't forget. They also split one before. Hold on. My, my, <laughs> my brain is, is computing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was Rutgers Newark. The last double yeah, header, and meeting, it yeah. was um, Valley Forge. Yes. So game before yeah. that. So it's just one of those, you know, like you have some of those bad games. It does happen, but you definitely want to. The, the Rutgers Newer game was kind of an interesting one because you look at them as that team hadn't won a game yet up to, up to that point in the season. So you kind of maybe look past them a bit. Maybe that was a game you kind of didn't think you were going to lose. You have to never take any game light. I don't care who your opponent is. I don't care what their record is. Yep. You take them lightly, it could come back to hurt you. It did come back because they took them lightly and committed 12 errors in that second game. Those are and that's you can't why do. they won 12 to 2. Yeah. But the women will be back at it. Also, they will play here on Brooklyn College Field on April 9th that against Yeshiva University. Fan Appreciation a, Night. Oh, that should be a great meeting. So, Jonathan, you got the call for yes, the sir. second match as Brooklyn will be serving first. And here we go. Let's see if Brooklyn can keep the momentum going. And it's going to be Tommy Min to take the opening serve. Okay. And here we go. Min is going to take the opening serve, gets it over. Good lower serve. And good little tip down to the net, and the Bulldogs finally get the finish. Looks like... Uh, Sim, Abdusimi have got that last little tap on the ground. Bulldogs yep. take the early 1-0 lead. Put and, the pressure on. That's what you should do. And then will serve it over. Good return by Ramsey. But it went all the way to the behind the bench. So a good strong hit. That'll be an ace. And it's 2-0 Brooklyn. A-C-E for M-I-N. <laughs> I love it. 2-zip Brooklyn here in the second set. And Min will serve it up. Good return there by... Akindipe, and there's a good Woo! return from Sue, but it went out of bounds. Quick reaction on that spike from Sue. Ramsey showed exceptional mm. power on that spike. 
So it's 2-1 now, Brooklyn. And, and almost a go. violation because they decided to change servers. Serve, but it's Ramsey. So Ramsey will get it over. And that ball landed hey. in for an ace. Wow. An all-speed ace by Mr. Ramsey. So it's 2-all now after the Bulldogs took the early lead. Coach again, Azuma, wasn't happy with that. Bulldogs were not standing in the position to get rid of that ball. That's not and then an ace you let lightly. It. Yeah. And back to serve. Good dig out by Sue. Lima. Koloshi. Now it's dug out and kept alive. Zandani. Kept alive there by Higgs. And now popped up by Mateo and buried on the kill and put home by Kaiola. 3 2 Edgar. By Mr. Kaiola and the first lead for the Cougars. Wow. This is the second set of the best of five here at the West Quad Gymnasium. Remember now, that was the first kill they've had since the first set if you're Medgar Evers. Lima. And Sue buries that. Almost kept, wow, somehow Medgar kept that alive. Kept up in the air by Zandani. Doubled hit over the net by Sue. And oh, Abdusimiev with the double-handed block. Three all, Brooklyn Medgar. Second block by Aziz as Flanders comes in for Zandani. Well, this set is almost starting like the first set did. Very similar. Sue will, Abdusimiev serves it. Just out of bounds. Oof. Just barely missing the line. Four, he three, had the right Medgar. idea going down the line. Got it over everybody's head, but just missed the corner. Yeah. And now back to serve will be Mr. Mateo. And Zandani's back on the floor for Abdusimiev. Mateo will serve it up. And that is out of, on the line and good. Oh! Another serve. The men did not pick it up. That's the second service ace that the men have just stood back yeah, and let just that let it drop. go. Mega Evers now Five, a two-point lead. And now back to serve will be Mateo. And Mateo taps it over. Dug out by Zandani and into the net. Oh, it went backwards, and that's going to... That could hurt Medgar. Kept alive. Lima could not bury it. Mateo. And a double net, contact was called Evers. into the net. Medgar Evers called for the yep. net violation. Cayolo on his follow-through hit the net, mm. and that's a net violation. Yep. It's so tough sometimes. The awareness you have to have knowing the net is in front of you, and it can be tough. Good strong serve over there by Lima. Mateo pops it up into the air. And a good Woo! return on a shot from Ramsey. Ramsey's got some oomph. Went right off the hands of Zandani. And Medgar Evers back up too. 6-4 in the second set. He has some power. No doubt about it. And now back to serve will be Hagley. Dug out by Sue. Lima. Koloshi drops it down. Oh, and no Medgar oh. Evers back. It's 6-5. Six, five. It's 6-5 six, five Medgar Evers. Kayshawn Higgs tried to go over the shoulder and just misjud misjudged it. Well, now the Bulldogs looking to tie. And now it'll be Sue to serve. Sue fires it up. Good low serve. Dug out. Buried. Oh, oh went out of bounds off the hand of Sue. It's 7 5, Medgar. Kyola with his second kill. And now Mega Evers still with Kyola that two point lead. Kyola setting up the serve and hits it over. Dug out by Sue. Lemma. And buried. Into the net was Medgar yep, Evers. Brooklyn got the point. Cody well, Ramsey Brooklyn's point on anyway. the block. Yeah. Abdu Simeyev was already going for the kill. 7-6 Medgar Evers, and now it'll be Brooklyn back to serve. That was Koloshi on the oh, kill. Oh, Koloshi on the kill, yeah. And Abdu Simeyev just came in for Zandani. And now Flanders back to serve. Here's the twirl, the triple tap, and over the net. Wow, and an ace. now Medgar Evers this time was caught flat-footed. <laughs> Brooklyn gets that point on the service ace. It's 7-all. Uh, they said anything you could do, we could do better, but that's not what better. <laughs> <laughs> well, 7-all, and now we begin Matt Flanders back to serve once more. Can Brooklyn take control of this second set? This is right about where the match, where things turned in the first set when it was 8-8. Eight -eight. 
So we're kind of right at that cusp Apex. of it again. Yes. Flanders will serve it over. Dug out. Kept alive by Ramsey. Ramsey spikes it down. Kept alive by Hagley. Mateo. Ramsey on the kill. Off Damn. the hand of Sue. And down. Medgar Evers goes back up 8-7. Ramsey coming on strong in his second set. He's got four kills in his set. Well, Ramsey's got to be one of their best killers, on one of their best kill men in this yes. matchup, no doubt. Served over by Hicks. And Mayan on the kill. Buries it off the block. Eight all, Brooklyn Medgar. Tommy Mann off the block and out. So point to Brooklyn. They tied it up at eight all. So here we As are once four again. four of the eight points for Mega ever scored by Ramsey Kills. Popped up into the air by Higgs. Ramsey spiked it into the net. And the Bulldogs get their first lead. It's 9-8 Brooklyn. And back to serve now will be Koloshi. Koloshi will serve it up. Oh, and Medgar oh. got caught flat-footed. Somehow Medgar, Medgar kept that alive. Wow. wow. I thought that ball was down a minute ago, but Medgar kept it alive just barely. And that is where it doesn't matter what part of your body it touches. It considers that a hit, and you can play it. Timeout. Coach Azuma Brooklyn. calling time. And now things are beginning to break down again, and this is looking a lot like the first set. Oh, woo! Coach Azuma really hot. Woo, you can hear, Did I hear all that the way part? up here. I, I thought I heard. Yeah, we, we heard some, some, some you know stuff. Down. Yeah. He's definitely not happy at all. Well, definitely. Sharp one. and to the point. Yeah, well. I mean, again, Brooklyn's letting Medgar hang around. Woo. This is already going like the first set did. Bulldogs did come away with the first set victory. Sometimes you need that coach to kind fire of them up, up and bit. get on them and say, hey, this is not how we play. Let's turn it back in. Let's get focused. All right. Well, let's see how the Bulldogs come out of this. Nine. We are tied at nine here in the second set. And it will be Brooklyn that will have to defend the serve, and it will be taken by Mr. Isaac, Isaac Akindipe. Yep. Akindipe, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and Isaac will serve it. Dug out by Sue. Kept alive by Lima. Min buries it on the kill right off of Isaac's hand. Bulldogs go up 10 9. And Tommy Min said, hey, it's time for a score. Give it to me. The senior will put it away as he's back to serve. And now serving it over is Min. Dug out. Ramsey on the kill, on the line, and in. Ten all. Woo. Ramsey, mm. five kills in the second set. Ramsey's Half got a, of the mega ever points. And now Ramsey will serve. I'll tell you what, Ramsey's got one very quick release with his hand. It's incredible. And that service error into the net, 11-10 Brooklyn. First service error for Ramsey. Flanders will come back in replacing Zondani. Abdul Simiev. Simiev will serve it. Edgar caught a little flat, but and a net violation was called yeah, against Flanders Brooklyn. Flanders knew it. Eleven all. Flanders knew it as soon as he went up. He said, "Ah." Oh. Flanders high energy, and he, he gets on himself sometimes when he makes a mistake. But he comes back and tries to atone for that mistake. Mateo now back to serve, and Mateo will tap it over. Good dig out by Min. And a good tap. Oh, kept alive by Medgar. Kept alive by Flanders. And Flanders on the kill. Put it home. Bulldogs up 12-11. And what I say, he makes a mistake, comes back, makes up for it. Mm. That's Flanders' first kill. Right now, both sides are exchanging points at this point. And, Somebody well, hasn't gone on a run yet. Yeah, right now it's... If you're Brooklyn, this is kind of not where you want to be. You want to be ahead right now at this stage. Lima will serve it. Knocked into the air. Wow, nobody was there. <laughs> well, there's a big break for Brooklyn. Now they get a two-point lead. And who was it that committed that error? Mr. Higgs. And that's who's been vulnerable today in the Bulldogs. I'm still surprised Bulldogs haven't been more exploiting that, that weakness throughout the match. Well, it's kind of hard to exploit him when he's at the net, but when he's back, they go after him. Yeah, that's what you need to do. And again, Higgs got and caught flat-footed. Another 
Another mistake. And net that violation. I was just saying it's hard to get him, but he just committed the net violation there. Well, now Medgar's starting to shoot themselves in the foot a little bit here. Now the Bulldogs beginning to pull away. They're up 14-11 here in the second set. And now back to serve Lima. Fires it over. And that is just out of bounds. Bulldogs were trying to go for that ace. 14-12, Brooklyn. Unfortunately, that's the third service error for David Lima, mm. who came into the game with 619 assists. Which is pretty impressive. you got to love that. There's a long serve. Goes out of bounds. And service error bounds. on Medgar right back. Bulldogs up 15-12. Hagley with his first service mm -hmm. error. And, and I say 619 because that's one of my favorite WWE wrestlers. Rey Mysterio. Mr. Rey Mysterio. <laughs> Love it. And here it is. Sue. Serves it Woo! on the line and good. What a shot by Aaron Sue. His first time out, and Edgar time Evers. out the Cougars as Aaron Sue said, hey, I'm not the seven-time freshman player of the week for nothing. Here, feast on this ace. Well, definitely the Bulldogs seem to have woken up a little bit following the previous time out. And now Medgar now needs to get themselves back in gear. Bulldogs have now built a four-point lead and are just nine points away from taking set number two. And, Jonathan, this is exactly where they were in the first set. 16-12, wow. timeout Mega Evers. Well, this certainly seems to be how the momentum is going right now. And, you know, Medgar wants to stop momentum pretty quickly here. But the Bulldogs right now are in the driver's seat. Now they just have to finish. Got to keep your foot on the pedal, though. Don't give them any hope. Don't give them any oh. reason to think that they can come back. You got to keep your foot on the gas and keep pounding, pounding, pounding. Mm. All right. And now as both teams are getting ready to come back on the court, Medgar's six are back out. Brooklyn now going to rotate their six back in. 16-12 is the score. Brooklyn College leading. Fans, reminder, the next game the Bulldogs will play will be against York College. That'll be a road game coming up later in the week. And next uh, next week, the men will be here at home. I'll give you the matchup in a second. Right now, it's going to be Sue to serve. And Sue will serve it up. Good return by Hagley. Popped up in the air by Higgs. And that ball landed out of bounds. Brooklyn will get the point. 17-12, Brooklyn leading. I like the fact that Sue is hitting hard and deep to the back. Mm. Bulldogs, Not making it easy. Bulldogs' next game will be Thursday, March 28th. As that return is into the net, no good. Bulldogs go up 18-12. Bulldogs' next game will be March 28th, this coming Thursday at your college. And then the very last game of the year will be next week on April 2nd against Hunter College. Hunter that will be a tough college. game for Brooklyn, but... A good preview. The ball goes into the net service error by Sue. 18-14. 18-13 now in favor of Brooklyn. And now Medgar to serve, and it will be Kayola taking it. Kayola serves it up. And that serve is too long, out of bounds. So now the service errors are beginning, Pat, to kind of mount here. A little more for Medgar now. Brooklyn was getting them, but now they're mounting on Medgar Evers. They've hit three straight mistakes off serves. And Brooklyn College being effective now of serving deep into their court and then setting up their defense. Flanders served oh. it into the net. So now it's just been a backward, it's just been a back and forth of service errors. But right now the Bulldogs are getting the majority of the points and they're up by five. Yeah, but they've committed ten service errors. Flanders will come out. Zandani comes in. And now Higgs will serve. And that is into the net. <laughs> Well, have service we seen, service. like, what, four straight service hitters yep. already? Yes, indeed. And I mean, I, I admire giving the players a little rest to not run around, but nah, that's, a little uh, bit much. Koloshi will serve that. And again, off the hand, and it's an ace. Brooklyn up 21-14. And a timeout called by Medgar Evers. Right, Pat, wow. right on cue. I think that was when the yep. last timeout was yes, called it again. Yes, 21-14. And uh, if we had a mirror... We'd be saying, mirror, mirror, on the wall. Wasn't this the same score? <laughs> After all? After all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh. man. Oh, we're having fun here at the West Squad Gymnasium. This is the second set of the best of five between the visiting Mega Everett Cougars and your Brooklyn College 
Pole Dogs, we're live on YouTube.com. I'm Pat Brown along with my partner, Jonathan Periente. And Jonathan, uh, if Brooklyn College can take the second set, it sets them up very well going into that third set. Oh, you can imagine. And I, I think Coach Azuma will not be satisfied if this goes beyond three sets. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I think he'd be very, very upset. Oh, my God. You know, and so if you're the Bulldogs, you want to possibly finish this in three. Oh, yes. But right now, let's deal with the final four points the Bulldogs need to get here to close out the second set. Yep, don't count our eggs before no, they're hatched. Not. You know, the Lehman game we thought was over a few times, and Lehman just kept fighting back. So <laughs> that we learned anything. That was one game to learn from there. All right. And we are just about to resume here. Bulldogs will serve. And we got hmm. what happened? Something happened. Something's going on. Well, a point went to Medgar. Oh, it was a, a, a service messed up by Koloshi. Okay. All right. So 21-15. Sue to Lima. Into and the, net. On the block. Kept but alive Ramsey by gets it. Johnson. Ramsey buries it off the block and good. Medgar Evers now two straight points. They trail 21-16. Six kills for Mr. Cody Ramsey. And a good return. Whoa, Sue came right in on that serve from Isaac. Kept alive. Oh, good save by Zandani. Bulldogs try to drop it down. Whoa, kicked Here over the net. Hey, Are you kidding me? What I tell you, any part of your body, you get the ball over. Blocked out and buried by, by, by Aziz. <laughs> Aziz with the kick save. And the Bulldogs took advantage and scored. <laughs> you gotta hey, it. that's that swim kick by Abdul Samiyev <laughs> who came from the swim team. Well, I mean, in, in, in swimming, you do a, a scissor kick, a whip kick, and a dolphin kick. And a butterfly. Is a, and Yeah, the dolphin kick. That's it. Anyway, Lemma back up to serve. Spike down into the ground. Right, kept alive back. by Sue. Drop down and buried. Brooklyn will get that point as Lima gave it a little touch over the net yep. and dropped it home. Yep, 23. The Bulldogs go up 23-16. They are two points away from taking this second set in a row. Men serves. Men will serve it up. Returned by Kaiola. Mateo. Ramsey blocked into the net and down. Brooklyn with set point up 24-16. One point away from the set. And long down serve and popped up. Kept alive. Ramsey will kick it over. Sandani, Lima, Min. Kept alive. Min to Lima. Min had his shot blocked. Oh. Min knocks it down. Higgs fires it up, kept alive by Zandani. Lima, and a little too strong on that shot, out of oh, bounds. Oh, Aziz just missed that back line. 24-17. <laughs> the Brooklyn scoreboard ahead. thought it was a point. <laughs> <laughs> Happens. All right, now Ramsey to serve. Still set point for Brooklyn. One set point saved. Ramsey will fire it up. Dug out by Zandani. And Barry on the kill Aziz by Abdul Simeon. And the Bulldogs take set number two, 25-17. Oh, man, look at that. Almost identical scores from the first set to the second set. Very much so, Pat. 25-16 in the first set, 25-17 in the second set. And both teams are switching sides of the court to come back for the third set. Can it be the third and final set? We're going to find out from the Brooklyn College Bulldogs. And uh, Jonathan, they... At that 11-11 mark, Coach called that timeout, got very, very in their face, say, hey, ba 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 And mean, then they came on the court and honestly, took care of business. can you blame them? Oh, no. Can no. you blame them? No, absolutely not. Bulldogs, though, were able to find a way. They got out of that. They got out of it. They found a way. And now here the Bulldogs are looking to take this in three, which is something the Bulldogs honestly have kind of struggled to do is win three set is win matches in the minimum three sets. They've had to rally. They've had to win some four set matches. They've won. They had to play a majority of five set matches this year. 
And in those five sets, it's usually they haven't been up two sets to nothing. It's usually one, one set apiece or they go up two sets to one and then they give away that fourth set to take it to a fifth set. But yeah. uh, we got the stats here. Yeah, we do. So right now the Bulldogs continue. Bulldogs actually were better siding out in this set at 76%. Medgar went down to, went up to 52%, a little better. Bulldogs had, would you believe the Bulldogs only had seven kills? Yep. Medgar Evers had nine, but the Bulldogs only committed one error. That's the key. One error. That's the key. Medgar had six. And you want to keep pounding it, keep forcing the issue, getting them off balance, making them be out of position, trying to scramble to get the ball over instead of setting their feet and getting good offensive sets. Mm. Abdu Simiev has two, has one kill, and of course, the highlight of the set was that kick save he made. Oh, wonderful. Almost a bicycle kick, if you will. Yeah. But four kills for Sue. And then you have also four from Koloshi. And then you have Lima, who had the three service aces. So you like the way the Bulldogs so far have come out. You like the way they settled down in the second set. And now it's a matter of can they finish it here in the third set. And we're about to find that out in a few minutes. Bulldogs yep. are back on the court. Medgar beginning to go over final strategies and then getting themselves ready to come out here for set number three. three. And they'll be serving first. All right. Sorry about that. No, it's all good, Pat. <laughs> all right. And you know what? We're going right, to have another. Oh, we have some changes coming in for Brooklyn. On the floor. Yeah, I see McBride and I see Shockey in there for Brooklyn. Is uh, the freshman 5'9 from Aviation High School in Queens, Omar Shockey. And the 6'1 uh, sophomore from Transit Tech High School in Brooklyn, number 21, Jaden McBride. Well, Transit Tech is, of course, a very uh, well-respected high school for people that really want to be get into the MTA. It's a yep. very, very good school. I, also, I used to work right near it. the freshman 5'9 from Forest Hills High School, number 11, Tyler Pena. All right, so Coach, so Coach Azuma going with the younger players here. Sir, taking it by it up a little. Ramsey. Ramsey comes back for the kill, puts it over and over the block, and the point goes to Medgar Evers. Took advantage of the smaller Lima and got that over the net. So right now it's 1-0. Medgar Evers ahead. And it's Isaac to serve. And, and that is a lollipop error. serve into the yeah. net. I don't know what he thought. He was trying to go off speed, but... Trying to do a finesse serve. Yeah, but uh, he finessed himself. Mm. One all. And now it's McBride to serve. So McBride now puts the ball up. His first serve. Puts it over. And it's going to be a service error for McBride. So you have Flanders with the triple toe tap and you have McBride with the triple bounce. <laughs> hmm, like that combination. All right. Ramsey to serve. It's 2-1 Medgar. And Ramsey puts it over to uh, Min and out. A long hit by Tayna Pena and it's 2-1 Medgar Evers as Ramsey goes back to serve. And taken there by Lima. Flanders puts it over the block wow. and down. Flanders with his second kill. That was off a bit of a broken play because it wasn't a very good return, but no, it, it hung up in the air enough, and Flanders was able to put the kill on it. Yep. So Mega Evers up 3-2, to two, side out, as David Lima will be serving. Zandani came back on the court for Brooklyn. Brooklyn College switching up the lineup. Lima, taken in by Ramsey. Can he get it over? No. Nope. That violation. Yeah. There should be a net. It's a net violation yeah, against Medgar. Kyola, he got his hand on the ball, but he went under the net. So we're tied at three. Lima ready. Customary bounces. Now puts it up. Taken in by Ramsey. And 16. Uh, Mateo was not able to get there, so it's 4-3 Brooklyn. David Lima ready. Taken there into the net. And again, 
Another point for Brooklyn. They're up 5-3. Brooklyn now with a two-point advantage. Ramsey digs. Mateo puts it over to 11. Cayola over to Lima. Men with a good Tyler dig. Pena again too far out for Pena. Second hitting error for him. It's now side out 5-4. Mickers down by one. That's the second time we've seen Pena miss hit there. But also just hasn't played a lot, and that's part of it. When you don't, when you haven't been on the court regularly, you know you're going to have a little bit of rust. Yeah, but when you get them opportunities, you got to make the best of it. Very true. That shot is long, out of bounds. Mateo service Six error. Four. Brooklyn. And it's going to be Pena to serve as Tommy Min comes out. And number eight, Wei Lin, sophomore 5'5 five five from James Madison High School, is in for Brooklyn. Pena serves, taken there by Ramsey. Mateo gets under it. And put away oh. by Kyola. Quick release there from Kyola. Third kill by Kyola. And back to serve for the side out is number 20, Hagley. <laughs> and the whistle blows as Mr. Official puts the ball in. Take it in by Zandani. Over to Lima. Flanders off the block and down. Flanders with another kill. Third kill. Brooklyn now up 7-5 as now McBride comes back in for Zandani. All right, Bulldogs definitely trying to kind of work some pieces in the lineup, just kind of see what they have with them. Uh oh, no. And you a can't false. do that. Yeah. It was an eight-second violation. Oh, yeah. You have to serve within eight With seconds. Eight seconds, yep. And what you also saw, Flanders went away from his typical tap. Yeah, you try to do something different. You try to catch him off guard. Yep. Well, that's a service error, so the Bulldogs get the point back. Coyola, Flanders clearly frustrated error. after that mistake. And, again, when he gets back in, watch. He's going to make a play somewhere, somehow. And now, now Omar sh Shockey to serve. We've seen Shockey do some good things with the ball. We've seen it in the Met, in the Lehman game in particular. Good block at the net by, by McBride. McBride. Ramsey puts it over. Uh, no Bulldog and was no back. coverage. So Zandani Ramsey. was too far back. And again, Azuma giving it to Zandani said you have to see that. Yeah. If, especially if you're going for a double block, you got to cover behind the block. Mm. Still cohesion is an important thing. 8-7 Brooklyn. And another, oh, well, that oh, one clanked off the net, net, but not a service error. It stayed alive. Shockey That's with the a kill. Shockey's got incredible depth with his drops. Just with incredible depth on that spike. Forced an off angle shot. 9-7, Brooklyn up two in this third set. They won the first two sets, 25-16, 25-17. And what's going on? Oh, okay. They're we'll going to make a substitution. Yep. Men's coming back in. He'll replace Wei, Wei Lin. Lin. And Tommy Men to serve. All right. The senior puts the ball in play. Taken there by Ramsey. Over to Mateo. Mateo back to Ramsey. Puts it over again. again second no time. No coverage behind back. the double block. And, oh, I think Coach Azuma might be calling time. Yep. Yeah. Well, no, nope, he's not. Nope. He's taking Koloshi, putting him in, and taking, taking out Shockey Shockey out. Mm. Well, you you kind of had a, you kind of saw that coming right there. He, you know, Two once times. it's once you know once you know once is just a mistake. Second time just unacceptable. Third time, how do I say this? But and that one the, returned. They got so over. Great saved dig it. by Ramsey. McBride kept it alive. Kaloshi, Tommy Min puts it over. Diving dig over to Pena Lima. McBride off the tip. Taking in my Mateo, no down! Oh, Tyler Pena with the block and kill. Well, that's a good makeup from the previous couple of serve of errors. Bulldogs get back that point, and it's 10-8 Brooklyn. Flanders back in. He'll replace Zondani. Oh man, that was exciting. 
And now, Payne is happy because he had two miss hits before that. McBride will do the triple bounce and serves it up. And out. Too long. That's two straight service errors by McBride. And, and now he he'll come out. Back in comes Zandani. And Mr. Cody Ramsey to serve. Down one, 10-9. Oh. oh, it was going out, but Tommy yeah, Min jumped Min up it. and it grazed off his shoulder. Yeah, Min knew it as well. Yep. So an ace by Ramsey, an inadvertent ace because yeah. it was going to be a service error. Tied yep. at 10. Ramsey will serve it. Taking it by Zondani over to Lima. Rounded to Pena. And it's going to be a kill. For Pena. Well, need to see more of those type of shots from Brooklyn. They go up by one, 11 to 10. Once to Diaz. Lima serves, taken there by Hicks. Over to Ramsey. Cayola picks it out. Brooklyn goes back up two again. Timeout called by Edgar Evers. You're listening to 2024 Brooklyn College Men's Volleyball live on YouTube.com. I am Pat Brown, along with my partner, Jonathan Perriente, here at the West Squads and Mesa on the beautiful campus of Brooklyn College. Brooklyn College up two sets to one. They're up 12-10 in this third set, and right now it's kind of seesaw, Jonathan. Yeah, it's, this has kind of been the story in the first two sets. It, 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 went, it goes back and forth like this. Then eventually the Bulldogs got on a roll and finished out the set. That's really been the story tonight. It's just kind of a, does either team to you look very comfortable out there in the, in like the, as each set has started? Yeah, well, Coach Azuma changed up the lineup, got some other players in. So that rust is showing a little bit. But hopefully they can mesh, communicate. And then, as you see Tyler Payne getting more comfortable, now he's starting to put the ball in play, getting some kills. McBride, I'm sure he's going to come back in and yeah. rectify his bad serving. Yeah. And get a, he, got, he does have a couple of blocks, by the we way. We have seen it, yeah. It's just con these are all confidence builders. I completely get that, Pat, 100%. Yep. But definitely, you want to see now the Bulldogs grab the momentum here. They're up two. And you know they want to complete this oh, yes. in three sets. And so does Coach Azuma. Yep. Medgar playing with just six players, so they have nowhere to go. Lima puts it over and into the net and under the net. Yeah, under the it's net. It's an ace. 13-10. A-C-E for Lima. And back to serve will be Mr. Lima. Lima and Lima will serve it up. Good strong serve on the line. And we've seen Lima knock down these aces tonight with efficiency today. Yep, that's five aces for him in this match. Brooklyn Cavs now extends the lead to four. And Lima will go back to serve again. Keep the pressure on. Like a hot iron on a wrinkled shirt. And serving it up. Oh, David Lima. Mm. Service He's error. Had, he's had these also tonight, the service errors in addition to the yep. good service aces. Five aces and four service errors. Mm. Patrick Mateo back to serve from the left side of the court near us. Down three. Lefty serves. Over to Min. Lima. Flander. Woo! Yeah. Was looking for Bad possibly trajectory. a block. Didn't get it. So Mega Evers fighting back. They're down 14-12 as Mateo moves over to the left side of the court. Check that right side of the court. Gonna clear a ball off. All right, now they got it. Mateo with the 18,000 bounces and finally comes approaches. Taken there by Zandani over to Lima. Mm. And unfortunately, that was a miss hit by Tyler Pena. And it's now 14 13. Battling back is the Cougars. They sharpen their claws right now and trying to dig their way to mm. tie the match. You don't want to let them back in. Bulldogs are up three. That is out of bounds. Bulldogs will get a free point there, 15-13. Yeah. They get a break on that service error. 
and Waylon comes back in for Tommy Min. Hey, Brooklyn College has some great rhyming names. <laughs> yep. Pena over to Ramsey, over to Mateo, off the block and out. So that's a kill for Lewis Cayola. His fourth. 14. Mega Evers will not go away right now. No, you got to give him credit. They're hanging tough. Hagley will serve now. And taking it by Zandani over to Lima. High, Waylon on the block. Mm, wow. A single block by 13, Akindipe. We're tied at 15 apiece. Med were right back in this now. Bulldogs were up three. And they allowed the Cougars to tie it back up. Serve, taken there by Zandani. Over to Lima. Kolosi puts it over and wow. in. Oh, he caught number 20. Higgs trying to run up, and Kolosi put it right where he left for an easy, easy kill. McBride comes back in for Brooklyn. He'll replace Zandani. Here's Tap Tap. And puts it in Ramsey. Ramsey over to Mateo. And to, oh, that's that a lift. violation. Yep, lift yes, was called against most definitely. Medgar. So now 17-15, Flanders now. And I think he's going to do that. That Here it nope, goes. The this shuffle. time he didn't do the tap. Oh, wow. Oh, and wow. Can he get it? It's an ace for Mr. Flanders. Well, timeout's called by Medgar. Bulldogs up 18-15. Yeah, I don't think Coach Archer was happy with that side shuffle hit. And then everybody just looked at like, okay, oh, I will think I'll go for well, it. Well, you know, throughout the match, Flander, what we typically see Flanders do is that triple tap of the foot. So now we're seeing a little different change up to his serve. Yeah. You know, that's enough to catch anybody off guard. Yeah, you get used to what he usually do, and now he comes out and throws a curveball, yeah. and it worked to his effect, his perfection because he got an ace yeah. out of it. You know, there's a very, um, well, not a popular game, but it's a, it's a little game, uh, it's a game about, and it's very simple, it's a game of deception. Uh, have you ever heard of the game of Liar's Dice? No, I haven't. Okay. Basically, a very simple game, cup and a dice, you put... You put about five or six dice under a cup. Okay. And other, you know, other players will join in and do the same. And you're going to bet what numbers are under each of those cups. Like, if, like, let's say about six cups, maybe you have four or fives of the dice under them. All right. Yeah. So your bet includes all the dice, not just your dice. Really? Yeah. So it's just an interesting type of a game. I'm not in... Yeah, that is interesting. Well, yeah. It's a game of deception, which is basically exactly what's serving a volleyball. Here we go. There's Side again that shuffle. little fake serve. He does it again. And, and they again, dig it out, Medgar and they not, get it over. Medgar was almost time. not ready for that. Oh, oh, a backward serve. Oh, David Lima overran the ball, miss hit, and it's now 19-15. Well, As Adani come comes out. back in for Flanders. Yeah. Well. Luis Cayola now serving. And into, into the, the net. Center. That was already a bad serve the minute he spiked that ball down. Bulldogs get that point. It's 19-16. They're 20, six away. 20. It's 19. No, they just had 19, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, it was 18. Oh, okay. Popped up in the air. Mateo to Ramsey. Mm. And it's shot. in. Beautiful shot on the line. Yeah, Ramsey is very, been, very hard with his 10th kill. Ramsey's had a very strong serve. And he's had a... Coach Azuma not happy. Nope, 19-17. Serve is out. out. Another Bulldogs break get that one. for Brooklyn as Hagley hit it out. I'll say this much. It'll be very interesting to hear what Coach Azuma might have to say after this game is over, even if the Bulldogs do win this in three. But right now, back to serve will be Min. And one hit over. Zandani to Lima. Pena. On the line. In. Good. Tyler Pena in with the kill. His third kill, and it's now 21-17. Pena getting a lot of love, you know. Not a guy that sees a lot of minutes, but when he comes, but when he knocks down big points, it's huge, and you love to see that. And Coach Archer is talking to the official, saying, hey, did you check with the flagman? The flagman put the flag down. All right. And yeah, Archer is waving him off like, oh, I don't want to hear it. Well, it's 21-17. The Bulldogs are four points away. 
Taken there by Hagley. Over to Mateo. Push over. Zandani's right there. Set to Lima. And, and the kill by McBride. So now McBride gets the kill he was looking for throughout this match. I told you he was going to make up for those two missed uh, serves. That's right. Bulldogs lead now back to five. And now coming 17. in is the 5'8 freshman from Central Park East High School, number five, Kevin Sees. Uh, Sees was a very entertaining guy when he was doing all those little bumps on the ground. Oh! That's four that's hits. A, yep. Yeah, you can't double hit, Mr. Ramsey. Well, in this case, a quadruple hit. Yeah. <laughs> well, 23-17, Bulldogs two points away. Trying to put it away quickly. Tommy Min, the senior, is ready. Tommy Min serves. Taken. Puts oh, over and out. Out of bounds. We are at match point. Match point for Brooklyn. Oh, that's a that could be a a, a BC boy song. Match <laughs> point for Brooklyn. Tommy <laughs> Min puts it over. Taken by Hagley, over to Mateo. And Ramsey off the block, Zandani's there. Lima runs to get it. Seas puts it over, taken by uh, Kyola. Mateo, and it's out! That's and it. that's Brooklyn the wins. match, ladies and gentlemen. Brooklyn College wins 25-16, 25-17, So we're going to get the stats. And then we're going to have the seniors as we're going down to the floor. You got to love how the Bulldogs yes, finished indeed. out the set. So Brooklyn College win a 3-0. They now go to 6-6 six and six in the conference. They go to York on Thursday. As we're going to get the final stats. Yeah, we'll get them momentarily. I'll tell them right now. Seniors. Seniors. <laughs> so we're going to get the uh, stats. And we came down to you guys today. <laughs> what a game. <laughs> Save them from running up the stairs, right? But very impressive, Jonathan. Three set win. They took that. They took advantage of the six players for Mega Evers. Seesaw. And then after that, twelve points. They seem to just take off yeah. and take care of everything. That was really kind of the whole story of this match. It really was. You take. It took a little, like about more than halfway into the set, for one team to finally build momentum. The Bulldogs did take advantage, take the win. Anyway, you slice it. Oh yeah. Definitely still things to clean up a little bit and we will have uh each of the bulldogs to join us Thank here you, michael and what a nice night this was for senior night and we're going to uh well, let's talk about the uh the uh final stats oh don't get in the picture jonathan yep all right so we have all together for the final set the bulldogs had a total of five eight. kills no, eight, oh, kills. Sorry, eight kills excuse me medgar with five five errors for brooklyn to four for medgar evers bulldogs were 12 18 from Sadows, Medgar was 11 of 24. So Medgar was averaging just about 45% on sideouts. The yeah. Bulldogs were averaging about 65% on sideouts. This side is the problem. It, they had 16 service errors in this match. Yeah, you can't that's do a big that problem. Against quality opponents. So they're going to have to shore that up. Medgar had 12 and a total of 19 service aces for Brooklyn to and six. six for Medgar. And, Eight of them were by David Lima, so he had a great game today on the service game. He also had 20 assists. Which is huge. That's typically what Lima gives you. And yep. then, you know, the rest of the way, you got to like it. Uh, Sue also, had some look, big points late. Only six return errors for Brooklyn to 19 for Mega Evers. Yeah, they well, the return errors were about all over the oh, place yeah. in this, you know. Bullock's definitely has some points he would like to get back for sure. Uh, <laughs> definitely don't want to be having a repeat of that again. Yeah. And we will get... After we talk to the seniors, oh, for sure, and uh, we'll also have David Lima joining us. <laughs> talk about that timeout that he had. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure. Listen, I we're not going to share the words that were no, shared course, in that timeout. Of course, timeout. Not, of course, of course we won't. No, we're going to be PG. Of course. Oh, of course, of course absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but what a night this has been! A very night, you know, very fitting. It's senior night. And 
to and see uh, two of the Bulldogs. Yeah, of course. Most definitely. And to see two of the Bulldogs honored here tonight on that is a really nice, uh, great thing to see. And this team is going to have a very – I'm going to be curious to see the type of run this team will have on the next round. And, yep. uh, and we hope – and we hope to get a couple of the players back out. All right, so now let's... All right, now we're going to get the seniors over here. Yes. All right, we'll get... All right, so we're going to bring each of them up here, one Come at on a time. On. Interview. How you guys doing? All right, we're going to bring you guys up there. Oh, yeah, let's go up there. We got the microphone. Let's do it. Let's do it. We got the mic. We're going to go, go back up upstairs, there. and we're going to turn the camera around, and we're going to get them on camera. Yes, indeed. You're listening to 2024 Brooklyn College Men's Volleyball Still rolling live down. from the West Washington Mason. Brooklyn College camera. wins 3 nothing. Hold on. That's what too. We got no picture on. Are we still on? Okay. No, we we don't, we're not on camera right now. There's one moment. All right. We're going to get the three Bulldogs here. They're right so here with us. So come on over, Mr. Tommy Min. We, no, we have no picture. I'm going to wait for my uh, partner area. to Okay, here we go. So we're going to slide on over here. Get rid of that. Uh, yeah, clear that scoreboard if we could. Okay, there we go. All right. So let's get oh, the I'm first of our you. three players, and we'll bring up one of the two seniors on her tonight. That is Tommy Min. Uh, Tommy, impressive victory. I know it was definitely things took a little while to kind of get going there in each of the three sets, but you guys did manage to get on that run, and were able to beat Med Grebbers in, in three. Yep. We were having fun. We were just playing our game. We were a little messy, but we got together. We locked it in, and we put it all together. It seems like for all three sets, it was back and forth in that first 10 to 12 points, and then after you hit 12 points, you guys just took off. So tell me a little bit of why it took you a little time to get situated to take those runs. Yeah, we tend to start off slow a little bit, especially when we, um, we're playing teams that we, we know that we should be beating. And... We, we need to lock in a little more sometimes and just keep the energy up. Once we had, once we had that going around point 12, we started, we started rolling with it. All right, Jonathan. How important is it to pick up wins like these now? You're kind of getting to late in the season, and uh, at stake could be possibly hosting a playoff game here at home. And how important is it to continue to build on the winning, on the winning you guys have put together over the last couple of weeks and uh, get set for the playoffs in just a matter of uh, right around the corner? Yeah, every match is important, especially towards the end. We're, we're finishing up CUNY. We're rounding it out, and... If possible, we want that fourth seed. We want to play home. We most likely will be playing Lehman, and we want to we want to put a good fight, especially in that mm. quarterfinal. Absolutely. Ben, this is your senior year. You transferred from Hunter. You didn't play volleyball there. You played volleyball here. You've had an amazing mm -hmm. run so far. How important is it for you to finish this out strong? Yeah. So this is gonna be my last co college season, and it's been amazing. I'm so glad I went to Brooklyn here, and I just want to finish strong. Our goal is at least to make semifinals. We want to take Lehman out in the quarters. Put a match with Brooke or Hunter, and that'll be it. All right. All right. Tommy Men, thank we you so much. We can't ask for anything thank more. You so much. Tommy, thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations. The past two seasons, always, man. It's always right. a pleasure. We're going to bring in Let's bring Mr. Kaloshi. All right. Tommy. Let's bring you on in here. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, All doing right. great, Armand. Come on, on in right here with us. In, come on. Into the circle here. So, uh, Armand Kaloshi, first of all, congratulations on the match winning 3 nothing. Tell me a little bit about your. You're not what they call an orthodox volleyball player. You're kind of unorthodox, but when you get your opportunities, you kind of solidify it. Of course. So you're not always going to have the best passes, best sets, best opportunity to run those quick plays. It's more about playing smart. You can't always pound the ball straight down. It's going to hit the net. So that's why I try to play smarter than it's better to work smarter, not harder, you know? That's, that's why they have that phrase. All right. Yeah. So you guys were definitely um, able to finally build momentum at the end of each set. What did uh, Coach Azuma kind of tell you guys there? I know he was kind of a little animated a little bit at times as the game went on, but what did he tell you guys to kind of finish out each of the sets to go up to finish it? So as the set starts, you're kind of winded down, and then as the set picks up, you slowly get into that rhythm. You'll get that energy moving everyone, and then you start to uh, 
pick up on those quick, fast movements, and then you'll start pounding balls, start getting those points, racking the points, getting good plays in, and then that's how we finish these sets. We you, saw you talk about energy, right? How did that energy develop on this team? It's different from last year, obviously, but how, how did that come about? Was it something that the coach implemented? Was it something that the players did? How did that come, come together? So it's a bit, a bit of both. Obviously, it's a hard commitment, putting in energy that's not there, or when people are down, you have to pick up for other people. So the players, we all try to pick each other up, even if one person's playing down. We want to bring the most out of everyone's potential, because individually, we all have a lot of potential, and we, we try to implement good teamwork play, so that way each, individual, each individual's potential gets an even higher ceiling gap, so that way we all bring each other up. Do you feel like this team is really starting to kind of elevate themselves to a different level compared to the start of the season to where you guys are right now? Definitely. Even from last year, we had a lot of players come in and help us out, even at the end of the season last year, coming in this, this season. So those players really helped making our team work, making our plays run better, and it definitely helped us. Absolutely. All right. Armand. Armand, thank you so much. Oh, Congratulations. Oh, got to ask this question. Oh, we got to ask this one. You're a senior. This is your last year. What does it mean, you leaving your legacy here for this volleyball team and going into the future for the next generation? So we had a lot of trips together. We all bonded very well. We were grateful enough to have an overnight trip in uh, Massachusetts, I believe. Mm -hmm. So that was amazing. Thank you for whoever organized that. <laughs> <laughs> we, had, we had plenty of fun there. So I'm going to miss these guys. They're going to miss me. It was, a, it was a great year this year, I think. All right. All right. Well, well, Armand, best of luck Armand. to you guys. Thank Playoffs you. around the corner. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. Now we're bring in All right. Mr. Bring David Mr. Lima. Lima. All right. Well, David. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's get it right there. All right, there we go. There you go. You know, this is um, kind of interesting. Last time we were talking to you, the setups you were making for plays. Today, aces today. Oh. My goodness. We were seeing uh, some really good serves off of your hand today. Uh, what were some things uh, you did different on the serve that were able to kind of get those aces in the early going of the match? Um, so I think mostly it's my knees. So sometimes I would, like, for the most part, for the past couple of games, I've just been doing topspin, just standing there, standing at the line, and topspinning the ball. But this time I actually wanted to um, use the power I have in my shoulder. I don't know if you see in the game, sometimes I'm swinging because mm. so I know I have the ability, so I, I do, like, jump serving as well. So that's definitely uh, – what plays the role into it and yeah it's just fun especially like slamming the ball from the service line um people don't really expect it so you know i just i go out there and do my best absolutely you are very deceptive sometimes you'll hit a line drive sometimes you take some speed off sometimes you hit it high uh how is how important is it to keep the other team unbalanced with your different serves uh, it's, it's really important, actually. You can't just let the team get accustomed to your serve. You know, there's a lot of great players that are really um, good at adjusting. And as long as they take a step back and they can read the serve, they'll dime it every time. So that's why you have to change it up a little bit, either uh, serve it to the left a little bit, serve it to the right a little bit. Something that I can do line, and then sometimes I really try to put power, but that power kind of takes off my accuracy, and it goes to the left a little bit. Okay. All right. And now as you guys are getting ready for your final couple games, you'll play York on the road, and then you finish against Hunter. So a little bit of a playoff preview type game, if you will. And uh, how prepared do you guys feel going into your final couple games? Uh, team really seems to be starting to come together and kind of peaking at the right time. Yeah, I think we're definitely doing a lot more plays. Uh, we're a lot, definitely getting a lot more confident in, in the balls. Um, serve receiving, we're still working on that. But uh, me as a setter, I have to adjust and uh, just try my best, you know. Um, especially with these like teams coming up, such as Hunter, and then I believe in the playoffs we're gonna, we might be going against uh, Lehman. Lehman again. Yep. You know, we just have to give it our all and uh, just keep playing. York, um, I know they're kind of at the bottom, but we still have to give it our best, just like we try to give it today. Today was a little messy. You know what? It, it is what it is. Next time we'll pick it up. All right, all David right. Lima, thank, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. And all let's right. bring thank in our final have man, head Coach. Oh, you want to do a quick shout-out? Sure, oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Oh. All right, so Mr. Kolosha, right, you want to do a Mr. quick shout-out? Go right ahead. Shout out. Come on in. And <laughs> Go ahead, Armand. <laughs> hey, Mom, I know you're watching right now. I just want to say thank you. And whoever's watching at home, hey, Mom. Mom. thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you guys for always supporting me. Family is a big thing to me, so they're always supporting me, and I love you guys so much. Thank you to all my friends, too. Take care. All, all right, right. Armand. And now let's bring and in our we have the man of the hour, Azuma. Coach Azuma. All right, Coach. Uh, well, well, you guys won the match in three. I know there were definitely some uh, moments there in the, in the <laughs> openings of each set. Just seemed like, when were we going to get on that run? Uh, what were you telling the players kind of as it was like 10-10 in like each of the first couple of sets? 
I always just wanted to make sure that our players were focused. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes when we get into these games where the other team is, is not at their best, sometimes we, we let our guard down and we don't play as well as we should. And I just want to stress to them that it's important that we always play at a high level, no matter what game we play at, so that it's easier for us to stay at that level. Because if you fluctuate between levels depending on who you play, then sometimes you're not able to get yourself back up to that high level that you need to take out the best teams. Mm -hmm. and, and that's something that, that we have to continue to work on, for sure. Momentum is always key, especially when you're playing a team that on paper doesn't match up with you. But when they're on the court, listen, anything can happen. So it's very vital to continue that momentum. And it seems like when you guys cross 10, 11, 12, you call the timeout, and then your team just took off and just put teams away. Yeah, I, I think, you know, we, we had a number of games this year that we could have won, that there were keep times that we didn't close teams out. So we need to get in the habit of having that killer instinct say, okay, we're ahead, we're in control, we need to close this team out. And, you know, midway through, I just remind them the importance of that, and they responded. Well, we, we, we heard it all the way up here. Yeah, we understand. <laughs> yeah, you got to say, you have to, you have to say you your have piece, to man. Say it, you have to say it the way it can be understood. Hey, we understand. We understand. <laughs> now your final games, uh, final couple games to end the year will be York on the road, and then you finish with Hunter, which is a good litmus test going into the playoffs. And uh, yeah, how important is it for you guys to focus on these games and not to take any concentration off, knowing playoffs are right around the corner, could possibly host a playoff game here at home? Well, I, I think for us, you know, York is very important. We need to, to beat them, and we need to beat them solidly. Uh, I'm also going to use the opportunity to use my bench a little bit more mm. because, you know, as much as you train and practice, if you don't get them in the game, they won't see why they're practicing what mm. they're practicing. So, uh, you know, and, and it's always good for me to see bench players get out there and see their starters support them. It's very important to team cohesion that that happens. And we yeah, saw a lot of that bench you today. Got, you got uh, Sharky in. You got Waylon in. Pina. You got um, Pina and McBride. Uh, Pina. So it, it, was, it was good to see other players get on. Lima, plus Pina started off slow, but then he came on at the end, got a couple of kills. McBride service not too good, but he kept a couple of blocks, and then he put the, the last kill away to secure it. So uh, congratulations to you again, solidifying you now six and six. Can you walk us through the tiebreaker between you and Lima if you guys finish with the same record? My understanding is it will come down to head-to-head uh, -head, uh, sets and point differential. Okay. Point difference from so, head to head sets. Uh, that's my understanding. It, it, it could be different. Mm. Um, but Lehman has a very important game next Tuesday against CCNY. Mm. So, uh, you know, that's four, fifth, six right there. Yeah. And, and you know, CCNY has been playing better. Yeah. Uh, they, they've changed some things around in their team. And, and they gave us a hard time last yeah. time we yes. played them. So, yeah. realistically speaking, you know, Lehman has a very small advantage. But it's a lot smaller than when they last played them. So that game can go either way. Absolutely. So I tell you, you're, you're going to be a uh, Beaver fan on Tuesday. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, last but not least, the, the two seniors honored here tonight, Koloshi and uh, Tommy Min. And to see these players uh, you know, finishing out their time here, and they're going to be going on to other things outside of Brooklyn. I mean, how do you feel like, you know, it's, it's tough. I know to sometimes uh, lose a player like this, a leader on the team that really helped develop these players. And now... They're going to be graduating, and then someone else will be the next one taking the, taking the leadership role. They're both fantastic human beings, and, you know, it, it's always a loss when you have people who your team is gelled with, who have great chemistry. They're all about the team, doing whatever the team needs, uh, and, and they both read the court well. They're able to change speeds and really keep other teams off balance, mm -hmm. and they're very even-keeled people in general. Mm -hmm. They don't get too high or low. So when you need stability, those are the right people to go to. We Absolutely. will sorely miss them both. Absolutely. All Coach right. Azuma, well, thank coach, you so much. Thank you. And tremendous good luck time. to you guys the rest so of the season. Good luck in the playoffs as well. myself, Jonathan Pariente, Coach Azuma, the two seniors on the team, we want to say happy Easter, happy Passover. Please stay safe. Be comfortable. Love your fellow man. And be blessed to somebody out there. This is 2024 Pokemon College Men's Volleyball Live on YouTube.com. We're saying good night and take care.